Hey, welcome to another episode of Foreigner and Friends. This is a quick episode uh, where we're going to do a deep dive on the word for wool uh, in Spanish and Italian. It's the same word, lana, la lana, the wool, spelled L-A-N-A. And uh, this is the protective coat uh, that grows on sheep. Uh, the way they get it off is when sheep are shorn with shears. Uh, <laughs> That's how we get the uh, the wool or la lana, and um, we're going to look at specifically um, some pronunciations in uh, Italian later. Uh, but one interesting way I like to think of this word as well, so I don't forget it, is I like to imagine the footballer uh, that used to play for Liverpool now he plays for Brighton Hove Albion is Adam Lalana uh, in a wool sweater. And uh, what's funny is his, um, his last name is spelled L-A-L-L-A-N-A, -L -L -A -A, so it's got an extra L in there, all like as, as one um, last name. And his grandfather on his dad's side is actually from Madrid, Spain, according to the Wikipedia. And um, if you look at the uh, Catalan spelling of Lana, it actually has two L's. So I thought that was really interesting um, to put all those facts together and really provide good meaning uh, to this word so that I'm less likely to forget it. So again, the word for wool is lana. Okay, now we're going to listen to some pronunciations from native Italian speakers um, for these words. Uh, so the first one we'll have is lana, which is just wool. Uh, the second one is going to be sharpa di lana, which is wool scarf. Uh, the third one is going to be lana da chayo, which is uh, still wool. Uh, the fourth one is, is more of a, a different meaning, so it's not a literal meaning, and that's lana caprina. And I think that's like goat's wool, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the wool of a goat. Uh, and that's something where, you know, if you say something that's a moot point, or it's piddling, or trivial, meaningless, uh, that's lana caprina. And then uh, finally, another phrase is sul filo di, li, di lana, uh, and that's going to be like on the wool's thread. When something comes down to the wire, it's a close contest, sul filo di lana. Uh, uh, thanks to the people who submitted these at forvo.com uh, so we can listen to uh, native pronunciations. Lana, lana, sharpa di lana. Sharpa di lana. Lana d'acciaio. Lana d'acciaio. Lana caprina. Lana caprina. Sul filo di lana. Sul filo di lana. That concludes our quick episode. Leave a review and follow us so you'll know when our next episode comes out. Oh, and be sure to check out Fluentel at fluen.tel. It's the easiest way to find a language partner.